I always wondered about the Alzerian epic and who set is exactly, but I am now of sound mind, and for a fact I can say it is them, they, the Tamahu. They are set, they are jealous of the cultures they saw as they describe it, highly advanced civilizations before they destroyed every one of them. In Europe and India and Africa, they came across prospering civilizations and destroyed them, conquered. These things have no connection to the world, none, and they just eat and eat while destroying everything, like a single-celled organism. There is also the new Luciferian script. That Lucifer, the Tamahu, thinks he is the rightful owner of the planet and that he has to get Jesus Christ, us, to renounce all rights of ownership because they have the world willingly dyed in their colors. The following was brought to my attention by 111-T-R-E-A-S-U-R-Y, on Avatar quote. That white guy was trying to blend into the culture somehow of these blue people by becoming one of them. The fact that white people are breeding in with us is a symbol to this. In order for them to become aligned with us, they must have our blood so they can only breed with us and produce offspring with our blood. Yes. For as we all know a mulatto will sell us out in a heartbeat, and they are pre-made to be on the side of set Lucifer against my god. I believe the soliloquy from Lord of the Ring about the orcs are the best descriptions of them. Quote, the were once like us, the eternal children of starlight, RWN, but they were taken to the dark places of the earth by the dark powers, twisted and tortured for an eternity, and the orcs, Tamahu, are the result of that gruesome act. You have to understand that they do not get it, they have no fucking clue that they are Lucifer, they think they are good people. Imagine this demon traipsing around the planet destroying everything in sight and having the nerve to think themselves good people. The Melanites recognize them and their plight, that is why we have no problems breeding with them. It is to help them abate their eternal turmoil, being naked before God, no longer able to enjoy the eternal starlight. Each cell of their bodies screaming in horrifying madness, unable to find shade or respite, even out of the torturous conditions, it echoes back at them through the ages. Poor Tamahu, cursed and tormented still to this day, never free, not even in their own minds. This is why they are fucking insane, that ordeal left them naked. So now their former joy, and their current joys causes them shame and pain, and shuns them.